Jim McLaren here from uh, Incura playing keyboards and uh, we just had a really great rehearsal here it's uh, August 31st I just wanted to give you a little bit of a look at my keyboard rig this time with uh, some sounds as well last time I tried this uh, we were opening for Apocalyptica and none of the sounds were on I thought I'd show you this anyway so let's start with the heart of the system which is my MacBook Pro so put very simply my MacBook Pro is running uh, main stage which is a program that is essentially just a instrument host, uh, kind of like a VST instrument hoster. Uh, it's all the sounds from Logic and GarageBand all mixed together and uh, it's a beautifully stable system and it's pretty much what I depend on and I've never ever had a problem with it. I believe it, it's only about thirty dollars and it's uh, on the App Store so that's very very cool. Um, so what I've got, I've got all the sounds uh, for all the songs running down the corner here. Um, these are all the songs that we're currently working on for our uh, summer material. Uh, this is the custom little uh, backdrop and uh, template that I've sort of made. Uh, when I go full screen on it, the whole thing changes into that, which is yeah, quite nice looking. Actually, there's the album art for our new album. Um, and uh, basically what happens is it's being controlled by this uh, M-Audio Keystation 88 ES, which is an 88 note controller. Uh, 88 keys of semi-weighted, uh, a little thinner, a little bit flimsier than a normal one, but it's a lot easier to carry around. The Akai LPD-8 is, uh, if you can see, there's f uh, eight pads and eight knobs, is uh, duplicated in main stage. So you can see what happens uh, when I hit each of these things, each of these drum pads, it actually changes something in main stage. It turns on the strings, it turns on the uh, clavinet, it turns on the mellotron. Uh, so if I play the piano right now with my other hand, and then I turn on the clavinet, turn on the strings, turn everything else off and turn on the mellotron. So basically what happens in main stage is that uh, all that these buttons are doing is bypassing the plug-in. So when I turn them off, the plug-in turns off and I get a lot of my CPU power back. Very efficient. All right, another important part of my rig is my iPad. And right now it is running Animoog, uh, which I can of course play. I can play with my fingers. I've also got uh, this Akai LPK25, all these crazy numbers. Uh, this keyboard is MIDI'd directly in with the camera connector kit to the iPad, so I can do this. And that's controlling. So if I ever need to play the iPad with the keyboard, then it's right there if I need it, and if I want to just use the touch screen, I can. I'm also running, of course, Geosynth for some cool lead lines. And uh, that never gets old. That's pretty fun. And of course, uh, one of my favorite things, of course, is the uh, Moog Little Fatty. Um, and this keyboard is uh, something I've been using a lot in a lot of my videos on YouTube. Uh, of course... That's just amazing. I mean, yeah, nothing else to be said about that. Um, but one of the cool things I like to do is I'll turn to something like uh, I'm here waiting, and I'll turn on the arpeggiator. And uh, normally the arpeggiator runs off of a... Uh, a set tempo that you do. Right now I've got it set to MIDI clock. So what happens is you can see I've got a USB cable running into the input there. That is fed all the way back into here, into my MacBook. And I've set up a channel in main stage on every patch right here. You can see it says MIDI out, little fatty, channel one. And all that it does is sends MIDI clock. So what happens then is each each one of these songs on the side has its own tempo. In this case, this song is Who You Are, and the tempo is 98 beats a minute. So, whenever I'm on that song, it's sending 98 beats a minute to the MIDI clock here. So, when I push my keys down, I get this. The 
The beautiful thing, of course, is if I switch to the song before, which is I Breathe This, which is 110 beats a minute. Now... And, of course, if I switch to Get the Gun, which is 145 beats a minute, I now get this. So that's a pretty cool way to uh, run an arpeggiator. Once again, really quickly, it's just running a MIDI out channel um, and sending it to the synth. So that's a quick run through of my rig. Because I'm just using a computer for my main sound set, I can really use any keyboard I want as my main controller. If I go to a venue and they happen to have a house keyboard, maybe a, some Roland or Yamaha or Korg unit there, all I have to do is MIDI the keyboard to my MacBook and I've got all the sounds I need. As long as I've got this uh, LPD-8, I've got the uh, controllers that I need, so everything's taken care of and I don't always have to take my uh, keyboard with me, although I often do. But uh, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.